All right, so here is my CPU mining rig. Now I said in the last video that I was gonna tell you how to auto start mining one startup. So here we go. So it's actually pretty easy to do. What we're gonna be doing is using task scheduler. So this is the Windows 10 miner that's up on the wall there. And so if we just go to task scheduler, I already have this all set up, but I'm gonna completely reset it up just to show you guys. Now the instance of this is when the power turns off and the power comes back on in your BIOS setting, you have it to automatically start when the power gets restored. Therefore, then it will boot into Windows and then boot into obviously into Windows, but you haven't logged in. So this will auto start the miner even if you haven't logged in. So it's gonna be mining 24 seven, no matter what, unless the internet gets disconnected. So what we're gonna do is create new task. Then we're gonna give it a name and we're gonna name that auto miner. You can name it whatever you want, add a description. I do not care. What you're gonna do, click run whether user is logged on or not and run with highest privileges also switch this to windows 10 if you feel like it next go over to the triggers tab new trigger usually it takes a little bit and then add add startup as soon as the pc turns on we want to start mining right actions new starter program this would start the bat file we want to browse to that file now conveniently i have a shortcut of it right here on my desktop so previously i think i set it up so that it's in my downloads. Here it is, written here. And then here is the uh, bat file. I created a shortcut and then it just dragged it onto my desktop. So I'm going to use the one from the desktop. Boom, just like that. There we go. That's all I do there. Click OK. For the conditions, I just turn that off. This one, turn this off and turn this off and hit OK. Next is going to make you put in your uh, Microsoft password. And then literally that's about it. Um, so I don't want both of these to start running. Now the one is running and you can actually see 99% utilization and it is mining right now on a 3700X. Because I don't want this to start, if I turn this computer off and turn it back on, it will auto start mining. Even if I sign in or not, it'll always be mining. Now another way you can also start the mining once you logged in, if you want to see the command prompt up here going, I don't know if you want to log in every time, be my guest. Otherwise just use HiveOS, which I'm going to be switching this rig to anyway. So how you do that, press Windows key and then R. To bring up the run then you're going to type in shell colon startup and this will take you to the startup applications in windows and any program you put in here will auto start when you log into windows so we're going to just control c copy this paste it in here i've had some success with this i don't really like it i just have it in the task schedule there because i know that it works and now it should when you restart your computer it should auto start and once you log in keyword once you log in to the windows it should be there Give it a couple of seconds and it should start right up if you're into that. I honestly don't like that. I just like it in the task scheduler because it's always running in the background and I'm never going to be using this thing for anything else except mining. So why not have it in the background? That's pretty much it. That's honestly all it is. Now, do I recommend Windows 10? You know, if if you only have one miner, sure, go for it. I just started using Hive OS on some of my other mining rigs and I'm really liking it. It seems to have a little bit better performance because Windows doesn't take up random things that, you know, what Windows does and it's hive os is linux based and it's just it's just really fast and really nice and you can manage it all from one spot so i recommend hive os i'm switching everything to hive os eventually anyway thank you so much for watching hopefully this helped uh, if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them in the description and have a good one